Charterman, 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 Charmus Prime here, doing my first Hot Toys figure review ever, man. Big thank you to Sean Long. Dude, Sean Long, fucking awesome dude. Thank you. Thank you so much, man. This is a birthday slash Christmas present, and oh my god, this thing is incredible. Just from seeing the pictures of it, and then seeing him at Comic-Con last year, seeing Sean's review. We were at Comic-Con last year. I mean, the YouTube crew went to go see the movie, and uh, we saw a really late night showing and fortunately, Sean Long and I were the only two that picked up Starbucks coffee and got ourselves all pumped. And me and that guy were just going nuts. I mean, I, I can't remember the last time. I, and he really wanted to share the hot toy experience. And he hooked me up with this. And this is just incredible, man. I love this figure. Amazing. So many great details going on. I'll give you a size comparison really quick, actually, just so you can get an idea of how tall he is. So, whoa, that's a lot of Captain America right there, but you can see, you know, he's double the size of the Marvel Legends uh, face-off Captain America. There's Marvel Select Captain America and got a growing thing going on with the Marvel Universe series and the uh, movie Legends line one right there. I have never seen detail on a figure like this ever before. This is all stitched up and sewed with cloth, which is really cool. It looks like I'm thumbing the cap balls, but I'm not. It's right here. And... So you can see all the stitching right there. It is just incredible. All this leather, very cool. Just out of the packaging, I actually broke this little part off right here. This is a plastic piece that you put, you know, you can put the gun into and it holds very nicely. But I just tore the little leather off and then I just super glued it back on there and it stayed okay. And getting that to stay on, you kind of have to use two thumbs and push down and then the notch goes right through there like that so he holds very nicely like how it says US right there he's got a zipper on the back it goes all the way up you could loosen this up so if you want you know make it a little easier to move but you don't really have to I like how the belt is a little on the loose side so it makes him you know a bit more flexible for posing and everything <clears throat> like you got real metal pieces right here the shield, oh my god, this shield, man. It looks like it's made out of chrome, but it's made out of plastic. And um, you can see my head for a second there. I really like how you could see, like, it looks like it was in a lathe or something. You could see these streaks, these lines going around it. You could see that? That is just so cool. Unbelievable. Now, the paint will wear off on this thing pretty easy. You can see a tiny little bit of chip right there. That's, you know, from it falling over. I was trying to get in some poses. And I like how the blue actually has kind of a, uh, it has like this dirty kind of look to it. Like they added some yellow light brown paint. You could kind of see it around the seams areas like right here. It just makes them look a little bit more dirty and rugged. I think that's very, very, very cool. The hands, oh my God, the leather in the areas of the boots and hands. Just fantastic, man. You could see like all this stitching area. You could see color variation there. Very, very cool. Even on the gloves. Very nice. This gun came out badass too. Now, I don't think his finger is supposed to bend into that like that. But I'll get into that some more later. Like how they have some of the gold clip right here. And this is silver. The star. Oh man, dude. That is sick. Very nice, damn. So cool. I just think that's so awesome. And the head sculpt, man. Wow, kind of have to turn him sideways like hellos. Oh, you like Captain Stabbing? Hey, I'm getting. But look at that face sculpt. Bad ass, dude. That really looks like Chris Evans. I really think it does. The thing that really trips me out here is that he has his facial hair going on. That shit is sculpted on there. That's not just painted on there, man. That's sculpted facial hair. It's a trip, but if you rub your fingernail on there, you can hear how it's rough. That is so cool to me. There's a lot of little things on this figure that you really just can't see on the camera. And I don't have a shitty camera. It's just, 
you have to see it in person. Love how that leather looks right there. Another thing that's really hard to pick up on this thing is that he actually has like this light black airbrush on his helmet, which is really, really cool. You can't really see it, but it is there. Um, one thing that I did hear about, um, I believe P2 said that the A on his helmet was crooked. And I've heard this before, and I don't think it's crooked. Now, me above anybody else, just because this is a gift, doesn't give the toy maker a right to give me a figure with a crooked A on it. So I would definitely complain about it, but it looks fine to me, man. Tell me how it's crooked. I really like the the paint, uh, the, the color choice right here for this fabric. The white area is very nice. It's like a gray more so than white. I think that's really cool. All these straps. He comes with a ton of accessories. I just wanted to go over the figure overall. Oh, the inside of the shield, too. Oh, my goodness, man. Look at this, dude. That is just so sick. All these leather strap pieces in there. The way this connects and everything is just really, really cool. This little clip thing right here. It's kind of dark and hard to see, but it reminds me of those backpack clips. I don't know. And uh, that's how you take this area off. So you have to pinch both sides of that. It's really hard to do. It's very tiny. And then you can take that out of this hand. He has nine hands total, which I'll show. But that's how you get that out of there. And this just goes around the forearm. It's the bigger loop. But I like the inside of the shield very much. I'll show a little bit more of that later. And then these boots, man. Very, very cool. Holy shit, dude, they took it an extra step where they even scuffed up the tip of the boots. So that looks like he was actually like running in dirt and shit, man. Do you see that? Do you see how the front of it's worn? It's hard to tell on camera, dude. See the color variations right there. But the tip of the boot is worn out more. Just so sick. I just think that is so awesome. Just incredible. The bottom of the boot has uh, TM 2011. Look, you can see how like it has the nails and the heel. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. Incredible. All right, so let's go over the accessories of this guy. He has a ton of them. This is a long list. So let's start with this handgun right here. I don't know what it's actually called. I hate guns. I'm like Bruce Wayne. Just don't like guns. That is so realistic looking. Even painted a little silver underneath the magazine down there or whatever. Very, very cool. He's got silver dry brushing on it. They just did a really good job with this. Very, very nice. And he also comes with the M2000 568 Carbine Method 1944 version Tommy gun, which is a total bullshit name, but fuck you guys. You guys know about these guns just from playing video games anyway, you little fuckers. Anyway, so this strap is very cool. I like this strap. It's like a canvas kind of strap, I guess. And you can tighten it and loosen it as you want, which is, I think, pretty damn cool, even though I don't really plan on messing with that. But the paint detail on this is incredible. And I like how they sculpted the, the butt of the gun and this handle area right here so it actually looks like real wood. That is very, very cool. And I like how this part works right here. I think that's very cool how that shifts up and down. So, Very, very cool. Taking off the shield is very, very tricky, you guys. I... I'm not going to do it on camera, and I'll just plug this little prong thingy into here, stick it in, stick it in, there it goes, and it connects like that, very cool, this is actually a dark brown leather, instead of uh, black, it looks like it's black, just very, very cool looking shield, I like this a lot. Like how it has all the bolts on the inside. So we already looked at the shield anyway. One thing I wanted to bring up though is if you wanted to have Captain America holding the shield, um, kind of looks like he's going to throw it. Kind of looks funny with that stuff dangling down. Little thing I figured out is you could fold these up like so. They'll fold down and tuck them off to the sides like that. See what I'm doing? And then that'll kind of leave those pieces from hanging so now it's more like a regular flat shield which I like doing I think that's pretty cool having him hold the shield you know like he's got the right very important piece is this clip right here this clip clips onto the back and that way you can have Kamek America hold his shield so you know remove this right here and then just slip it around kinda tricky and there it goes 
So now you got Captain America with the shield on his back. Pretty cool there, huh? Also this stand, which is very, very cool. I like how this stand looks a lot. Marvel Studios, Captain America. And then this is very cool. You can, you know, raise it up quite a bit if you want. It forks out like that, or V's out. Have it face the other way if you wish. And as as you move it down, it actually starts to, uh, you know, get closer and closer together like that. So that's pretty damn cool. Quick look at the box of this thing. I really love the matte finish. When I have this guy displayed, I have him standing in front of the box. It's a matte finish, but it looks very shiny at the same time. And when you feel, you could feel the grooves of the shield and the star. That's very, very neat. I like that a lot. Very cool looking box, for sure. Very neat. Comes with this instruction booklet right here, which uh, you know shows you how to do everything you need to do without breaking your figure. Tells you not to scratch the shield, and they are so right about that. He also comes with this bag of treats for your children, so you could give this to your kids if they're hungry watching you play with your toy. He comes with nine different hands, so this is the open hand kind of deal. He's got the semi-open hand, which is cool. I like this one. This is the shield gripping hand. For both aren't both hands. Then he has a fist. Whoa, where'd the fist go? There it is. He has the fist right here. And then unfortunately there's only one hand for uh holding a gun. I wish he had a you know hand to hold the gun lefty, which would be kind of neat to have. I mean it's Captain America, I assume he can do lefty, but these things are just very, very cool. And, you know, again, just to drive the point home of, of how detailed these things are. Look at this. It's just I just love the way this looks, the way it's painted. The detail stitching at the fingertips of the gloves, even. I mean, come on, man. If you love detail in your figures, dude, this is the thing to get. This is just incredible. He comes with two extra ankle joint thingies right here. He comes with two uh, wrist joint things. One of them actually already broke, which is quite a bummer. But, um, you know, luckily it came with two extra ones, so that's cool. He comes with a bunch of extra little tiny buttons, so if you lose his buttons, you can replace them. He comes with his shoulder strap thingy, which is very cool. I like it. Sometimes I like to have him displayed with it. Sometimes I don't. And it goes around him pretty easy, so there he is with the strap on there, so that looks very cool. or movie accurate. Putting the hands back on this guy is a little tricky. He has a second glove within this glove. You can kind of see it underneath there, and I like that because it helps cover up the flesh tone. But at the same time, you kind of get psyched out when you're putting the, uh, you know, his hands on because you think you have it on there, but you don't really, so I'm trying to put the hand back on there. and eh, Okay, that one's on. Now, and of course, I get scared of, you know, breaking it again, because now I only have a couple left. Well, I only have one spare left. This one's kind of more of a pain, but it's on there, so. Nope, it's not. It's going to come off. Damn it. Okay, now I think it's on there. Anyway, so yeah, so and it tends to bunch up a little bit right here. But his articulation is pretty damn good. You have to realize that, you know, there's a give and take with action figures. The more detail that you give them, the less likely they are to be posable. You know, if you have a figure that's just all one color, hell yeah, it's going to be hella easy to pose. You know, uh, unless you're Hasbro and you just give it one color and it still is not posable. But, you know, let's not get into that. But anyway... Uh, you know, this is all cloth material and it does hinder the articulation. And I knew that, you know, before I got the figure. But I, So the head does move up and down pretty well. I like that. It moves down reasonably, side to side. And he's even got this, like, <sighs> So that's pretty neat. And he has his shoulder joint and this is where it's really hindered and you can see on mine right here tore the fabric just a tiny tiny bit little sacrifice had to be made to get that posability in there but oh well and you know it shows on the instructions that I can move 95 degrees upwards but that's not 95 degrees to me man that is not 95 degrees um, so it could do pretty decent amount of movement though uh, he rotates at the elbow elbow bends pretty well like that <clears throat> His wrist moves side to side and it moves up and down. So that's cool. Very nice wrist articulation. He has good ab crunch. The ab crunch is nice. Doesn't 
bent, oh, it bends back pretty damn far. That's pretty sweet. I didn't realize it bent back that far. It's pretty cool. Um, it does rotate side to side. Now the clothes are all getting loose. <laughs> you can move his leg up pretty damn far. It rotates also, and you can move his legs out that way. So that's a pretty good amount of articulation without ripping it. I think that's pretty cool. He has double jointed knees. And, you know, his skin kind of gets exposed a little bit, but you just got to push that back down. And his ankle moves side to side, and it moves up and down just a little bit. Not really, it kind of comes off at the boot. It doesn't really move up and down that much. And he has a little bit of ankle pivot. The boot hinders the articulation, but the ankle pivot still works. So I think that is really cool. Ankle pivot still functions. I like that a lot because that's my favorite joint. Very, very cool stuff. So, yeah, man. Wow. I could talk about this figure a lot more. This is just very, very cool. Um, I don't think I'm missing anything. Kind of nervous doing this review because, shit, there's so much stuff going on. My first Hot Toys figure. And thank you again so much, Sean Long. You are an amazing friend, man. Thank you so much. Hope you guys enjoyed my review, and I will catch you later. Peace. Oh, that's Shardimus. He is so awesome. But now what should I do on the internet? You got him! 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 BKBN.net! Here, let me show you, man! Big Kids Big News is number one source for geek news, reviews, toys, comics, movies, cartoons, video games, and more! Next time you're done watching my videos, where are you going? BKBN.net! Where are you going? BKBN.net! The thing that sticks out with this thing to me beyond anything else